Hey guys, what's going on? Um, on my lunch break, just wanted to do a little bit of a video on something I've been thinking about and, and wanting to talk about with all of you. Um, and that's pretty much on people doing reviews and sharing their opinions on kits that they upload to YouTube and, and what my experiences are with that. And um, specifically, I, I recently uploaded a video talking about the Pocket Survival Kit by AMK. And um, I pretty much said in the review or in the video that it wasn't a review. It was just kind of me taking a look at what's in the kit and giving you my thoughts and opinions on it because I had some people asking about, you know, if I had ever made a pocket survival kit, what my thoughts were on it. So um, that's why I had done that video in the first place. And I got some criticism for it. Someone had said, you know, question whether I had ever tr actually survived on that kit and used it in the field. And um, it just got me kind of thinking. And uh, I guess I just have a question for you guys, basically. Have you ever survived on a pocket survival kit? Or how, what percentage of us that upload a video talking about an item have actually had to depend on that item with our lives? And I'm not talking about like, okay, I'm going to take my emergency kit and I'm going to go spend the night with just that item. No, I'm talking about like you got your pocket survival kit on you and you're hiking around or you're doing something in the wilderness and you break your leg, you break a foot, you know, you're lost, you can't get out of there and you got to survive with what you got in your pocket. And if I was to be perfectly honest with you guys, I would say that probably most of us have not had to do that. You know, it's just a rarity to actually have to um, use those items in a life or death situation and completely be able to test them and evaluate them, you know, to the utmost extent to where you're a complete expert. You're the end all expert on something. And uh, anyways, it just kind of got me, I guess, laughing about it a little bit because you know, when you upload a video, you open yourself to criticism, and when you give your thoughts and opinions on something, you know, you're going to get some feedback. Sometimes it's going to be positive, sometimes it's going to be negative, but the ultimate goal in doing that for me, and I think for a lot of other people, is to just be able to get your thoughts and opinions out on something and to channel other people's thoughts and opinions about it, and, you know, I'm open to that kind of discussion, and um, I think that's what makes YouTube videos great. You know, you have a community where you want to talk about uh, a kit or some gear that you have gotten, and it's great to get other people's thoughts and opinions on that. And, um, you know, really, I just wanted to get your guys' thoughts on that also, and just, you know, because this is YouTube, you guys. This isn't, none of us are really the end-all expert on some of these things. We're just giving our thoughts and opinions on, you know, we get a new knife, we're excited about it, we're excited about it, and we want to review it talk about it, you know, flashlights, guns, things like that, backpacks, tents, you know, whatever your your channel is about. And um, I just think it's kind of funny, you know, that a lot of us will take something that someone else says literally and will use it as concrete buying advice or concrete advice on how to make this emergency kit or this disaster preparedness kit or a uh, bug out bag, whatever, you know, whatever you want to call it or whatever it may be. And, um, I just think it's kind of funny that, you know, people would take it so literally or think of someone as like the utmost survival expert or prepping expert. I mean, I know there's some of us or some people out there that are more experts than others, and they probably know more about certain items than others. And, you know, you can usually tell that when you're watching something or when you hear them talk and speak about something. But again, even even those people, I think you should really be um, cautious of and you know when they do a video about a certain gear item or a kit you really have to use your you know use your head and your own um, judgment on whether or not you need that whether or not you think their advice is the best advice um, and what kind of kit you're going to need in your situation so you know I just I again it just kind of it's just kind of funny that people um, I think just take something as concrete buying advice or concrete kid advice from someone uploading a video on YouTube that you know nothing about that person, you know, especially a lot of people just try and remain anonymous or they don't want you to really know who they are. And, um, it, it you know, just, I think we should take these, these gear reviews and, and kit reviews and things like that with a grain of salt, you know, and just, we really should use ca caution when we're watching them and, um, definitely do our own research before thinking, you know, is that the best thing for me? 
and most speci most specifically, you know, these really huge channels um, in the gear, um, the gear, I guess you'd say, uh, you know, world or whatnot on YouTube. A lot of people really think that they're like the utmost expert on that. And, you know, that's when they say, you know, you should buy this. This is a great item. They go out and buy it. And, you know, that's great if you got the money to do it. I've done it before. I've taken someone's advice. But you really got to think about, you know, do I need this item? Do I really need a kit like this? Do I really need the kit that they have? And do I think that theirs is the best way to make mine? You know, you really have to um, think about that. And I, in my opinion, just not take it as concrete advice or not think of them as the end-all expert. No matter how big they are, no matter how cool they think they are or knowledgeable they think they are, you know, you really got to think about that. And um, again, you know, this is just YouTube. We're just making videos as a creative process. Um, trying to channel our thoughts to you guys and get the same feedback um, about some of the stuff that we upload too. So, um, you know, about our gear and our kits and just life in general. It's just a, a fun process to um, share our thoughts on things. And that's what I look at YouTube as. I, I don't take it so seriously that I'm, you know, the ultimate expert in, in this or that or, you know, so when I upload something, I try and say that, you know, just Take this review with a grain of salt. You know, do your own research. I'm not the, the the ultimate expert on this, and I don't think anyone else on YouTube is either. So, you know, I, I, I when someone says this person said this about this, or this person recommends this, I, I don't care. You know, or this um, this community uses this item. You know, and that should be the ultimate standard on how to use fire starters or whatever. It just I don't care, you know, if it doesn't work for me, it doesn't work for me. That's all that matters, and um, I think that all of us should have that state of mind. You know, you should really try and think of what you're going to need or what you really need to buy, and use good judgment before um, purchasing something or um, doing something or uh, taking someone's advice on YouTube, you know. So, anyway, just wanted to get that off my chest and uh, kind of channel those thoughts out to you guys. Uh, I got to get back to work pretty quick here, so thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you later. Peace.